Hello students, I'm Sunanda Mani and I'm here to take up question answers of the lesson Indigo. Now, first question, why do you think Gandhi considered the Champaran episode to be a turning point in his life? Now, Gandhi considered the episode in Champaran to be a turning point in his life because it was the beginning of civil disobedience movement. From there onwards, he could see that Indians were no longer scared of the Britishers and he felt that he could ask them to rebel against Britishers and he had been successful in getting the fear out of their minds. Next question, how was Gandhi able to influence lawyers? Give instances. Now, Gandhi was able to influence the lawyers by chiding them for overcharging when they came to meet him in Champaran. He scolded them that they being Indians could not overcharge the poor peasants who were already exploited by the Britishers. And secondly, when he was to court arrest after the summons being issued by Britishers, the lawyers said that if he was arrested, they would go back. He was very annoyed with the lawyers and again he scolded them and told them that what would become of the poor peasants if they went back. So he inspired them to court arrest after him and also encourage the poor peasants. What was the attitude of the average Indian in smaller localities towards advocates of home rule? The attitude of the average Indian in smaller localities towards the advocate of home rule was that they were scared of the Britishers. They did not come out openly in support of the advocates of home rule because they feared that they would be fired from their jobs by the Britishers. How do we know that ordinary people too contributed to the freedom movement? Now, most of the freedom fighters whose names figure in the struggle for freedom are the ones who led the nation. But there are millions of other people who followed them and it was because of their united strength and a united fight back that India could get free. And these people, they contribute, contributed to the freedom movement by cooperating with their leaders and courting arrest and not getting scared of the Britishers at all. Freedom from fear is more important than legal justice for the poor. Do you think that the poor people of India are free from fear after independence? Yes, people are free from the fear in their minds after independence because now they are not scared of anybody. They are living in their own country. They are being ruled by their own laws. And also, they are very well aware of their rights. They know how they can express themselves through rights of freedom of speech, rights of freedom of expression. Now they are no longer scared because nobody is exploiting them. Why is Rajkumar Shukla described as being resolute? Rajkumar Shukla is being described as resolute because he was very firm and determined in his will to bring Gandhi to Champaran. He followed Gandhi everywhere, wherever he went for one year and at last was successful in bringing him to Champaran to solve the woes of poor peasants. Why do you think the servants thought Gandhi to be another peasant? The servants thought Gandhi to be another peasant because he was also poorly clad in a loincloth only and he resembled the poor peasants in his appearance. He was very weak and very thinly clad. 
Why did Gandhi agree to a settlement of 25% refund to the farmers? Gandhi agreed to a settlement of 25% refund to the farmers because for him, it was a victory to get the fear out of the mind of Britishers and also money was not important for him. More important was that the Britishers had to surrender their prestige in the country of Indians where they were exploiting poor peasants. So to him, what mattered was a victory, a triumph of prestige more than a triumph of money. How did the episode change the plight of the peasants? The episode changed the plight of the peasants because they lost the fear from their minds. They became independent and they knew that they could not be exploited by the Britishers anymore. So they got the courage, they gained self-confidence and they could stand up for themselves against the Britishers. List the places that Gandhi visited between his first meeting with Shukla and his arrival at Champaran. He visited Kanpur, Ahmedabad and Kolkata. What did the peasants pay the British landlords as rent? Now, if a question is in three parts, you got to answer it in three parts. So the peasants paid, they cultivated 15% of the land with indigo and the entire cultivation, the entire produce of that 15% was taken by the Britishers as rent for that land. What did the British now want instead and why? Britishers now wanted to free them from this kind of arrangement because they could get synthetic indigo at a much lower price. They did not require this cultivated indigo anymore. What would be the impact of the synthetic indigo on the prices of the natural indigo? The impact of the synthetic indigo on the prices of natural indigo would be that they were much higher than the synthetic indigo and the Britishers did not require it anymore because it would not sell in the market. That's all about the question answers that can possibly come from this chapter and more than that, what is to be noted in this chapter is how did Gandhiji get the fear out of the minds of poor peasants and that is basically the summary of this chapter. I'm sure after reading it thoroughly one can express it. You have to relate the incident which led to their courting arrest and that is where Gandhiji said that the battle of Champaran has been won. That's all. I'll see you in my next video with the next chapter. Thank you.